kilohertz this week. Did a 5k earlier in the week. Today I'm running 10k at a fast pace, which is why I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, I think after this there's one or two more runs till the marathon, which as I'm running this on Sunday, I'll be running in a week's time. My body has been so tired the last two weeks, basically since I did the last long run. And uh, yeah, everything just feels really hard, harder than normal. But I think that's what everyone says during your taper runs. I'm not worried about it yet. <laughs> just got to get this one done. It's Easter weekend, so it's a bit chilled this weekend, which is really nice. I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day after this. I can't remember if I mentioned, but I'm using a new camera for like an action camera. So let me know if this sounds and looks better. Cause I really hope that it is. Cause I've been resting and I haven't really run that much. And all of the last few runs that I've done have been a real struggle because I've just been really hard cause my body's been tired, but I feel like I was 100% rested, so I was like a fucking whippet out of a cage. Um, I went way too quickly, but I did get a 5k PB, which I'll put here. I think it's a PB, from what I remember, and I think it might be a minute or two quicker. So we'll find out when I get home and I have my phone. I've stopped my watch just because I wanted to save the 5k and see the 5k on its own. Um, but we might do a little jog back or a walk back, I don't know yet, depending on how the old heart rate is. because. It climbed, let me tell you, it climbed. 5k PB a week out from marathon. Don't know if that's a good thing or a really stupid thing to do. <laughs> but my runs next week is basically like one or two super short runs and then the marathon. So I'm going to be nice and well rested for the marathon. Fingers crossed. Good morning. Today is marathon day. I can't believe that it's here already. What the fuck? It is quarter to six. I'm just making a little decaf coffee and then I'm gonna get some breakfast in. I'm feeling, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's too early for me to even like, string proper sentences together at this point. The last few days have basically been, well the last two weeks actually, have just been a lot more resting, eating. I've eaten so much in the last two or three days. And now, oh fuck, let's get the shit out of me, oh my god. <laughs> I'm having a bagel. <laughs> a bagel with peanut butter. I've already had a banana um, and and that's kind of it. Lacto sponsored by lacto free milk. Sponsored by <laughs> lacto free. So I'm now ready to go. Um, had a bit of a dodgy stomach this morning, <laughs> which is a really nice treat. I don't know if it's just nerves. I think it probably is, but it is now five past nine. We need to be there, I think at 9.45. So we'll probably be there at like 10, 10.15. And we start at 10.45. So I've got my vest packed. I am wearing a taller bra, sweaty betty vest, lululemon leggings, I've got a lululemon hat and then I've got some of these Sums uh, running socks. I am now ready to go. Look at this little thing in the background, interesting. Um, and let's go and run my very first marathon. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. My heart rate has been at like 90 all morning. And my resting heart rate is usually like, what, 65-ish? So she's nervous, she's nervous. We have made it to the like race village, which is just here. There's actually so many people and people have already started running. This is like the 3.30 finishes. Uh, and this is actually the hill that is that we've been like warned about since knowing what the course was so that is the hill that we're going to be going up in in probably like an hour and a bit I said before when I was in the in our Airbnb 
but I definitely had a nervous stomach this morning. My stomach was not happy. I feel absolutely fine now. Like, I, I feel good. I think that the nerve was just a lot this morning, but now I feel all good. And I'm just ready to run now. Like, we've got another 45 minutes until we're in the last wave, we're in the purple wave. Um, so yeah, we've just got another 40 minutes or so, and then we can run. Very good, guys. Congratulations. gonna get hard again soon so I'm enjoying this high while it lasts but we have about 12k to go and then I have run a fucking marathon so here we go We have it i completed my very first marathon in brighton and i have the finisher medal to prove it but yeah i finished the brighton marathon and let me tell you the time that i did it in because i know people are kind of interested in that so i completed it in five hours 22 minutes and 14 seconds which i believe is something like 736 minutes per kilometre uh, and I'll put the time in miles as well because I know I've got some American viewers um, so you don't have to work out for yourself you're welcome um, so let's have a little recap first of all I don't know if you'll be able to tell but I really didn't film that much the day before the marathon, the morning of, and that is because I was honestly so freaking nervous. I drove down to Brighton on the Saturday and I had a minor, let's say minor, meltdown in the car. I was just like really overwhelmed. I think as well because there's a lot of people watching me online. So it just added that bit of extra pressure <laughs> that I just felt. And that was no one's fault apart from my own. I am a warrior. I sometimes go into a situation and just expect the worst to happen so I was just a little bit uh, apprehensive. In the morning of I woke up, I had a semi-decent sleep and then my stomach was not good. I thought it was something that I'd eaten but actually as the morning went on I realised it was just nerves. So I spent a bit of time on the toilet, TMI, but I feel like this is a running channel, you know? Everyone talks, seems to talk about their bowels as a runner like everyone is just fine with that and that's fine by me <laughs> yeah the morning not so cute when I ended up getting to the actual event village seeing the atmosphere seeing all the other runners that were there it really made me chill the fuck out and I felt good and my stomach was a okay if anything I was thankful for the nerves because it meant that I was able to use the loop before the marathon because that is definitely something that you want to be doing before you're about to run for god knows how many hours when I arrived at the like event village pre-race area I was feeling good I was excited and then as they start to like call out the groups I was in the purple wave shout out to anyone in the purple wave you all walk to the start line together and then they set you off and then that's it and then you just you know just bash out 42k during the 
the race I felt good I would say for the first maybe 15k 10 15k I did feel fatigued weirdly because I'd considering I've been resting for so long you would think that I'd be really fresh but my legs just felt heavy. Throughout I feel like I really nailed my um, fueling strategy so I've been using the cliff gel blocks. Went through about two and a half three packets of those throughout the whole thing. I also had two serene bars and my friends were spectating and ended up bringing loads of Percy pigs for me as well so that was also really really good. I stopped at pretty much every water station to top up the water that I was carrying. I had two on my vest. I didn't take my big water bladder just because I didn't want to carry it on the day and the only reason I've really been wearing it in training is because it's obviously a lot harder to stop off and just get water every now and again. If it was any hotter I definitely would have taken the water bladder. If I was doing any races in the summer I would definitely take the water bladder just because I would feel more comfortable and prepared knowing that I've got water with me at all times and I drink so much water when I run. I think I just sweat a lot and my mouth gets really dry and I just like to feel lubricated throughout the whole experience. I feel like you're expecting me to say at what point I hit the wall and it got really hard and how did I push through it but I am really happy to announce <laughs> that I did not hit the wall. In fact I don't think I came alive until kilometer 30. When I was in that last 12k I felt really really good, really positive. I felt strong, I felt able. There wasn't any point throughout the race when I thought I'm not going to be able to finish this and and I enjoyed it as well. I really had such a good time which for me was a huge goal more so over than a time goal just because I wanted to come away from my first marathon race and think I really enjoyed that. I was really nervous of finishing and thinking I hated that I'm never going to do that again because it would have felt like a bit of a waste you know spending the last three months of my life training and the hours and hours that went into that so I was just so relieved that I just had a great time and crossing the finish line felt really good it felt emotional I had a little tear I didn't cry as much as I thought I was going to I think because I was just still kind of on a high I was just like I, this is great yeah when I finished I had a little tear and me and my boyfriend did this together as well like he's been training with me the entire time <laughs> I haven't really mentioned that but um he's been super supportive and obviously been filming me on some of my runs and was just kind of along for the ride so it was really nice to experience that with someone else overall it just felt really good. Um, when I finished, I didn't feel crazy fatigued. Like, obviously, my body was tired and I'd been on my feet for over five hours, so there was aspects of kind of being ready to stop running. But it was a lot easier than any of my training runs, even the shorter ones. And what I would say is that if you're nervous about going into your first marathon or whatever race that it is, if you've done the work, if you've trained really really well I mean you don't have to hit every session I definitely didn't if you've missed some it's fine as long as you've done the bulk of your training you honestly have nothing to worry about the hardest part is the training when it comes to the race itself that is the easy part and that is the part that you're supposed to try and enjoy and just celebrate the weeks or months and months of work that you've just done I did use the run walk strategy so basically what I did was I ran the first 5k and then I went straight into four minutes of running one minute of walking I'll put all my paces on the screen Screen as well just so you can see what my target pace was for that and then when it got to about 30k that's when mentally it gets harder and the four minutes of running feels like a lot longer than four minutes so I shortened that down to about three minutes and resting more if I needed to like walking more if I needed to and yeah that was it that was that was my first marathon I can't believe that this journey has now come to an end. I'm already kind of thinking behind the scenes, like what is next? I don't know what that is yet. I have a few ideas. I've been thinking about an ultra marathon, maybe, and that would be a 50K to start with, or doing another marathon somewhere else, or trying to get my 5K time down to under 30 minutes. But yeah, let me know what would you want to see? Do you want to see me trying to get my 5k time down? Do you want to see me take on an ultra? Do you want to see me do another marathon? Do you want to see me do a triathlon? Even though I don't own a bike. 
and I haven't swam that far in a very, very long time. Let me know what would be an interesting thing for me to document, I guess, as a beginner, because I'm really keen to just keep going and proving to beginners or slower runners or people who don't feel like they're good at sport that you are good at sport and you can do hard things. So thank you very much for watching this series. This is officially the end of my first marathon journey, but I'm sure there is loads more to come. Let me know what you thought. If you ran Brighton Marathon, how how did you find it? How did you find the course? I f totally forgot to say that it was hilly as fuck. <laughs> Who put those hills there? Because I thought there was only supposed to be one hill and there was about five. So I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if there's anything that you want to see on this channel, please do let me know because I am all ears. Thank you very, very much for watching this video and thank you for watching my marathon journey if you've been tuned in for this long and I will see you in the next video. Bye!